Hey everyone, welcome back to more WWE 2K18 My Career Universe here on the channel. I hope that you guys have been enjoying the series so far. Remember, if you have to show your support by leaving a thumbs up on the video as we head into more of round one in the WWE 2K18 Seasons Beatings King of the Ring Tournament. In the last episode, Roderick Strong moved on beating Drew McIntyre and Johnny Gargano beat Shinsuke Nakamura with a little help from Bobby Roode, but nonetheless, Gargano is moving on to the second round. And now we have Chris Jericho versus Neville, and we have Aleister Black versus Elias. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop into Chris Jericho versus Neville, and we're also gonna do Aleister versus Elias in this video too. So let's go ahead and get into Jericho versus Neville and see who can win here. No holds barred, CPU playing, anyone can win, anything can happen, let's get into it. You know that Chris Jericho CWO Chris Jericho is looking to become that number one contender. You know that he wants to face James Fatal and get that WWE Championship. He wants another opportunity, and Chris Jericho has that opportunity tonight if he can defeat Neville and move on in the season's beatings tournament. But will he beat Neville is the question. Canadian World Order, look at this guy right here. Look at this guy. Neville is not someone that we've seen too much in my career or my career universe. The cruiserweight champ at the time, from what it looks like, is looking to break through and become the heavyweight champ. I mean, the dude could look at this man. He is just strapped up. This man's muscles have muscles. Like his veins have arms, brother. <laughs> look at this man. <laughs> he is looking to push through, and tonight he faces scarfless Chris Jericho to see if he can move on to the second round. And here we go, and no tie-up. I guess I'm not surprised by that. Bad guy versus bad guy, brother. We ain't tying up around here. Oh my goodness, and Neville goes straight for an arm See, this is an interesting strategy right here, going straight into a submission. You don't see this too much in the WWE. You know, if you, if you get a good submission locked in, you can make someone tap regardless of if you work the spot or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, you can make someone tap. Submissions ain't no joke. You, you ever been putting a legit arm bar, bro? I'm tapping immediately. I ain't getting my arm broke like that. <laughs> I ain't getting my arm broke. So, I mean, the, the, the fact that he's able to even stay in an arm bar is just wild. And talking about arm bars, you know Chris Jericho got about 1,004 of them. That man's got all sorts of different holds. And, of course, Chris Jericho is the first person to try to grab a weapon here in the no holds bar tournament as he attacks Neville with the baseball bat. Chris Jericho knows what he has to do to get that number one contendership here. Oh, as Neville rolls through. It looked like maybe he was going for a tiger suplex, but Neville rolls through. Chris Jericho able to kick out. No way, he's at least feisty, man. He's a spicy one here. Good Lord. What the? The corkscrew moves, the standing corkscrew moves. Oh, that was wild. As Neville goes to the second rope with a Phoenix splash. Neville does not care about nothing, man. The man that gravity forgot. He is tearing a hole in Chris Jericho right now. But Chris Jericho did get that bat. So you got to wonder what kind of damage that did to Neville as he went for a super kick and Jericho was able to reverse. Neville going to fight back into it, though, not allow Chris Jer Jericho to get too much ground. Jericho with a jawbreaker, the back and forth action forearm there from Chris Jericho. Neville just no sold it, but what a drop kick. Jericho at his age still able to do drop kicks like that is insane. As he goes for a senton and Neville's just gonna move right out of the way. Going for, for top rope moves, middle rope moves on Neville here. Aerial moves in general. This man is the king of aerial moves. He knows exactly how to get out of the way. Jericho with a float over neck breaker here. Uh oh. Neville's had to roll out of the ring here. Chris Jericho is waiting. He's stalking Neville. What has he got in mind for Neville here as Neville is looking to gasp. He's looking to get some, some breathing back here. Springboard drop kick from Neville sends Chris Jericho to the floor. Just the beauty of that, man. Everything Neville does where he's flying is looking good. And now Neville is dragging Chris Jericho farther and farther away from the ropes. But Jericho is able to fight from the floor. Not what Neville expected, I assume, as a bulldog. It almost went straight onto the baseball bat. Sends Neville to the floor as Jericho goes for the first pin of the match, and Neville kicks straight out of that. You still got it, Chance, from the crowd, as Neville is now just taking a beating courtesy of Chris Jericho. A Walls of Jericho attempt there. Neville taking the feats out. 
Neville was able to stuff the walls of Jericho. Neville now in the corner with Chris Jericho going for something, but Jericho able to stuff that. As Jericho gets Neville up for a suplex. The man's got the delayed suplex ready to go. Uh-oh, Jericho looking for a springboard. Wow, okay. A springboard frog splash onto Neville. Jericho's breaking out a little bit of high-flying moves. I think he's trying to disrespect Neville in his own territory here. But Neville ain't going to have that as he's able to reverse Chris Jericho. The bat is still right there if Neville decides he wants to use it. But it doesn't look like it as Neville gets Jericho on the floor. Oh, the rings of Saturn are locked. Oh, is Jericho going to tap? No, he's able to fight out. He is able to fight out. I'll be damned. And Neville now, maybe looking to get Jericho on the ground for that red arrow. Too many people don't kick out of that. Uh-oh, Neville going to go for the pin, actually. Is he going to be able to pick up the victory? No. A one count as Chris Jericho kicks out again. Oh, Neville not looking good right now as Jericho gets the upper hand. The baseball bat sitting right there. The same baseball bat that Chris brought into the ring. But wait a minute. The walls of Jericho are getting locked in. Is Neville going to tap to the walls? Wait a minute. No, Neville going to fight. Whoa, now Neville with the pin reversal. Oh, and that almost, I've never seen anything like that. Neville almost stole that victory. Yo, I have never seen anything like that. That was insane. Oh, here it goes. Neville to the top rope. Oh, went for a shooting star press, but Chris Jericho just moved out of the way. He saw that one coming. He might have been playing possum, honestly. As he throws a forward code breaker. Oh, no. This could be it for Neville. Oh, and he kicks out. Neville is able to kick out of the code breaker. Chris Jericho has got to be wondering what's going on here. Second rope, Chris Jericho, big senton. He tried to go for that earlier. I cannot believe that as Jericho. Tranquilo in the corner here. And he is looking to get Neville up, but Neville is back to his feet. Big clothesline here. Neville is busted open from that code breaker. Just skating the eyes of Chris Jericho with his bootsies. Neville slowing the match down now. Maybe trying to bust Chris Jericho open after Chris Jericho busted Neville open. This has been a crazy brutal match. Neville goes for the pin, but Jericho able to kick out at just two. Neville flipping Chris Jericho over. Throws the arm down in disgust. Disgust. Little neck breaker action from Neville. Neville, wow, from the top rope, the moonsault. Did you see how beautiful that was? Into the corner goes Chris Jericho. Neville looking to start a combination, but Jericho once again, it looks like Neville goes to that corner a lot, but Jericho is able to stuff it every time. The swiftness from Neville, but the cunningness from Chris Jericho as he gets Neville again. Is he going to flip him? Walls of Jericho are locked in. This could be it. This could be it for the Cruiserweight Champion. Is it going to be it? No. Did Jericho let go? Jericho let, let go to put in the Lion Tamer. Oh, my God. He's got it cinched in. Neville fighting. And Neville able to survive both the walls of Jericho and the Lion Tamer. Good God almighty. Jericho springboard drop kick sends Neville flying. This has been insane. I don't know if, I don't know if Neville has any gas left. This could be it. No, Neville still has some left in the tank. Fighting off the floor. Neville. Uh-oh, going to that corner. Is it finally going to work for Neville? As we head to the corner, he puts him up on the top rope. 
Neville is playing in something right now as Chris Jericho lays there. Oh, it could be that superplex. It could be that superplex. Yes, he hits it flush. Is uh oh, Neville? Looks well, like he's hurt. Will he be able to get that pinfall? Wow, Neville! Is he calling for the red arrow? Does Neville want the red arrow on Chris Jericho? He does, but Jericho is getting back to his feet. And Neville notices that. As now he has to do a little more damage here. Maybe going for something, but Jericho able to reverse again. The back and forth has been insane. Neville once again. Neville going for maybe a Liger bomb, but Jericho able to fight out. Wait a minute, Neville. It looked like maybe a comeback from Chris Jericho. I heard the audio cue, but Neville able to get the upper hand. Neville. This, this match has been crazy. A kick to the head for Jericho, but he no-sells it. Neville with the flip on Jericho. The back and forth. Maybe that Liger bomb. Yes, we saw that. He saw the attempt earlier. He's able to hit it flush this time. Neville flipping Chris Jericho. Oh, here it goes, people. From the top, Red Arrow! He's got the, he's got the leg! And that is all she wrote as Neville moves on to the second round of the season's beatings tournament. What a match. Good God. Look, at, I have never, that was wild. This entire match was crazy from start to finish, but Chris Jericho does not get another attempt at the number one contendership for James Fatal's WWE Championship. It could possibly be Neville who moves on in this tournament to face Roderick Strong in the second round. Ooh, baby Neville, look at him. Busted open, still getting the victory, something to prove, showing that he can hang with the heavyweights and beating a legend like Chris Jericho is definitely a way of doing that. Bring me my crown. My man said, bring me my crown. This guy is ready to win this tournament. All right, now we have Alistair Black versus Elias to round out the first round. One of these guys will move on to face Johnny Gargano. We have Roderick Strong and Neville on the top of the bracket, and now we're looking to fill out the bottom of the bracket. Alistair Black and Elias. I don't think I've even seen Elias in this game yet, so it'll be interesting to see how things work out with that. Alistair Black, part of the Dark Society. He was put into the tournament by James Fatal. We'll see if he can get the victory here tonight. Here is the man himself, Alistair Black, brother in arms with James Fatal looking to be the new number one contender. And what a match that would be, Alistair Black versus James Fatal. Two members of the Dark Society facing off for the, the world's championship. We'll see if Alistair Black can beat Elias tonight and move on to the second round. My man's got the guitar, no holds barred, so you know he's going to use it. <laughs> he's get, Look at it, both of these guys have little, you see their little name plates? They're unique. My man's got money in the top of this guitar as he heads to the ring tonight, looking to be the number one contender. It'll be interesting to see if this matchup will go just like Jericho and Neville, but Elias does not want that to happen, going straight for a Thez press. Elias from the second row, oh, big splash. Hits Black on the mat head first, and Elias has got one hell of a move set here. My man is showing all sorts of versatility as he gets Alistair Black up off the mat, but Black is not going to go down that easy. Oh, wait a minute. Now they're on the apron here. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Body drop onto the apron. That's the hardest part of the ring, brother. You see those steps right there? They're two-ton. Just imagine if he threw them into the steps. He would die immediately. There'd be nothing you could do. Wait a minute. Alistair Black is throwing Elias up the ramp. We are now outside of the ring. Things are going down, people. Things are going down as Elias hits a DDT onto this ramp. These LED boards right here. You know that's got to hurt. Doesn't matter what you do on this ramp. You're just going to feel the pain. Elias gets Alistair Black up. Oh, Elias don't want to be out here. Elias wants to be in the ring. Dropping an elbow. Well, Eli oh, Elias, it's already over. 
This man said it's already over. Uh-oh, going for the kick cheese. Trying to get Alistair to bite on it. But Alistair, of course, not going to bite on it. He's going to send him back into the ring. Elias, no weapons. No weapons. Alistair showing off that agility, that swiftness. Short brain buster right there. Sends Elias floored to the ground. As Alistair Black looks to get back into this after he got beat up there on the outside. Oh, here we go. The strike from Alistair Black. This is what's going to be the difference maker in this matchup here. Oh, no. But Alistair able to get composure back. As he just kind of works over Elias right there in a hold. Oh, here we go. Another short brain buster, maybe? Nope. A little, a little suplex. Okay. Alistair Black showing off a little suplex. Getting Elias up. Going for some strikes, but Elias is going to fire back with some strikes of his own. Oh, my goodness. A power bomb? Oh, my God. Yo, that's a big power. Shoulder power bomb. As a lot. Uh-oh. We talked about the weapons coming into the matchup earlier. Now Elias going to grab him a weapon. Ooh, he's got a sealed share. Oh, wait a minute. He's going straight for the DDT. You're lucky to say here comes the pain. Because that would have been the end of the match. Alistair trying to get back. Now sitting on the apron here. As Elias in full control of this matchup. Sends Alistair Black to the floor on the outside. There's the one lonely announce table. Elias waiting for Alistair Black to get up. Going for a clothesline, but misses. Trying to recover Alistair Black. Look at that. Taking control of his situation. But no, Elias. Wow. This man has been quite impressive. Going for a knee. Oh, nice little slide there from Alistair Black. Who goes for another knee, but Elias is able to reverse. Head first into that turnbuckle post. It goes, goes Elias. It's a lot of fighting on the outside here. Oh, wait a minute. Alistair pulling Elias up off the floor. Oh, a kick to the face. And Elias is out like a light, fool. Alistair might... Yep, looks like he wants to get him back in the ring. No weapon used from Alistair yet. Oh, I was about to say, but it looked like he might be going for that chair. Where's Alistair going now? Second rope for the big dog. Dropping it on Elias. Going for some kicks to go some kicks. I thought he was going to maybe do some kick cheese, but no, he didn't do it. Oh, looking like he was going for something, but Elias able to reverse. Elias has just been a wrecking ball. Look at this man. Wait a minute, Elias. Oh my goodness. Yo, oh, crossroads. What is this? Wait, Roderick Strong? Also in the tournament? Roderick Strong interfering on part of Alistair Black. Wait a minute. End of heartache on Elias. Oh, my God. Alistair Black going for the pin. Oh, and Elias just kicks out. What the hell? I... Why? Roderick Strong... Elias fighting back again. Yo. Alistair. Uh-oh. Alistair grabbing Elias. Throwing him into the corner. Wait a minute. He's getting him up on the top. Yo. He's getting him up on the top rope. What is Alistair thinking here? A punch to Elias. Oh, my goodness. A big superplex. A big superplex. Oh, that superplex to Elias. Oh, my God. And Alistair Black. Perfect moonsault on Elias. He's going to go for the pin. The ref not in position whatsoever. That's disrespectful from that referee there. A kick to the back. Elias hulking up. Elias said it ain't over yet, boy. Yo! He said it ain't over yet. The drift away from Elias. And Alistair's able to kick out. He is able to kick out. Elias, second rope. He is just sitting there. This man's trying to figure out what he's got to do to put away Alistair Black. Roderick Strong with the interference on Elias earlier. The end of heartache almost put Elias away. Uh-oh. Alistair's got Elias down. Where is Alistair? Wait a minute. Alistair from the top rope. 
double foot stomp. And he slides back in for the pin. Is the double foot stomp going to be enough? No, Elias with a demanding kick out this man. Wow. Where is Alistair going? Alistair going to the corner. Uh-oh, I don't think he sees Elias getting up. I don't think he sees Elias getting up. Elias is back to his feet. And Elias, but Alistair reverses. He gets Elias off of him. Drives Elias head first into the mat. Alistair, he's on it, baby. Oh, no. Black Mass just sends Elias to the floor. Oh, and Elias just kicked out of the Black Mass. What the hell? Yo, that is insane. This man, Elias. Wait a minute. Oh, the cutter again. The rolling cutter, the drift away. He does it again. Wait a minute. That shoulder power bomb. He's going to go for the pin. Is that enough? And that's enough as Alistair Black goes down to Elias. El what was Elias is insane. This man is insane. I can't even, I got no words. Elias overcame Roderick Strong's interference. The Black Mass. Elias just looked like an absolute beast. I think we have a new favorite in this tournament. That was just insane. Elias moving on to face Johnny Gargano, and Gargano is going to have his hands full in this next round. That is for sure. I want to thank you guys for watching this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it. Remember, if you did, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are not subscribed. And I'll see you on the next video. See ya!